Hello, thank you for being here today. Um, I want to thank a number of people here today, and you're going to hear from Mary Keefe. Um, but uh, we're taking a very important step today to make sure that workers are protected when they work in for government and that we have preserved middle class America. Strong unions and protections that they provide for workers help create and preserve our middle class. With family wage jobs under assault everywhere in America, labor is more important than ever before. The collective strength that unions provide is good for our city, for our employers, and for our workers. The strength that workers give to our community cannot be understated. We need to have the ability to raise wages, advance and protect workers' standards, and make life better for not just workers, but for their families and for the whole community. It's good for employers because it helps provide a better skilled, productive, and cohesive workforce and allows predictability and an economic advantage. We have the greatest talent anywhere in America right here in Seattle, anywhere in America. And one reason we have that great talent is because we have the best workers and worker protections. Having strong union representation is good for our city because it allows workers who are paid those higher wages to shop for the goods and services and businesses in large and small throughout our city. Strong workers are great customers. They are the backbone of our vibrant community. In our region, increasing opportunity and wages is critical if we want to preserve Seattle as an innovative and affordable city that works for everyone. We know too many people are getting priced out of this city. Our city has to commit itself to making sure that we protect and preserve middle class and worker rights. Unions continue to lead the way in passing those laws that are important for all workers, like paid sick leave, minimum wage, improved worker safety, and ensuring that workplaces are free from harassment and are places where people can come to work with respect. Washington State has been an economic and innovation leader in many ways, and one of those ways is in workers' rights and labor organizations. Labor, labor organizations gave us the weekend. I wish it had one more day every week. Um, but they were our critical partners in Seattle in passing Families and Education Preschool and Promise Levy, in making sure that we get two free years of college for every high school student. And then they stepped up again to offer their apprenticeship programs and, and mentoring so that young people can go into family wage jobs. With labor by our side, we were able to pass a Domestic Workers' Bill of Rights, which is setting the standard for the United States. We know that strong unions provide strong workers, providing the best workers in America. Janus was, um, in June 9, 2018, the United States handed down the decision and Janus v. AFSCME. It is clear that that was the continued assault upon workers' rights and people's right to join a union. The city of Seattle decided to go and work with our union partners and our workers to make sure that we protected a strong, vibrant workforce here in the city of Seattle. We know that there is five key things we have to do to preserve that. Number one, dues deduction. The city today in the agreement is agreeing to deduct from paycheck of each employee who has authorized it the regular initiation fee and regular monthly dues required of members of the union. The city will honor membership cards, including previous cards and membership windows to drop out of the union. In exchange, the unions have agreed to indemnify the city to protect it from any actions relating to dues deductions. We also want to make sure that unions have access to people coming in so they can show them the strengths and benefits that they can offer. The city agrees to allow the union access to new members within their first 30 days for 30 minutes during normal working hours. We also want to make sure that as workers come in, they understand the range of options and benefits available to them. So unions will be able to present at new employee orientation for 30 minutes. New employees and change of status information can be important to the city and to workers. We're going to make sure that we provide union new employee information and change in status that includes their name, home address, job classification, and other key factors so that those people can be sure to get the information they need. 
One thing that unions give us is not just a workforce that shows up ready to do the job, serving the people of Seattle, but we also get training. And having highly trained workforce has proven to be critical in this city. The union is allowed to provide training to its members for up to eight hours per year during normal working hours. And these trainings add to the, every member's ability to serve the people of Seattle. We saw during the VIDA closure and the snowstorm how critical it was to have employees who are willing to show up at long hours for long shifts and do what they needed to do to serve the public. That happens because those strong workers have good protections. By working together, the city of Seattle, unions, and our represented employees have, have memorialized in this agreement a stronger working protections to ensure that we inoculate against attacks against working people. I want to thank all of the representatives of all the city unions for sitting and working with us to make sure that we were able to get an agreement that both protected the vital interests of the city and the people who live and work here and the workers who provide them their services every day. I especially want to thank Sean Van Eyck, Mark Watson, Mary Keefe, Ian Gordon, Andrea Friedland, and all my other friends who joined us for this <laughs> press conference. Um, I now want to welcome Mary Keefe, who's the business agent for Teamsters Local 763, to say a few words. We'll sign the agreement, and then I'll take some questions and answers if there's any. Thank you. You bet. It's all yours. <laughs> You're now mayor. All right. Oh. <laughs> uh, I want to Three first... day weekend. <laughs> Done. Deal. Let's go. Um, I first want to thank the executive's office and the Department of Labor Relations for working with us. Um, June 2018, uh, with the fall of the Janus decision, could have been a very devastating moment for labor and for the city as, as the city holds up the structures for our citizens. Um, but as labor does, always has done, we saw a fight and we took to it. We doubled down with our members to ensure that they were engaged and aware of what was going on and what the attacks were. We know that the Janus decision was a direct attack on workers as, an, as a tactic to divide workers, um, to build divisiveness and to backbite. That in turn, uh, that in turn reduces the level of services the city can provide. Um, and with the fight, we not only engaged our members, we also worked with the city to not just rewrite the contract language that allows for dues deduction. We could have done a very bureaucratic, simple agreement. We took this opportunity to build. We took this opportunity to say, we want a full process that everybody can look to be accurate and consistent throughout the city. And we took the opportunity to build in training time. We know that employees have a lot of options here, they have a lot of information, and we wanna make sure that they have access to that information so they can make the best decisions on their benefits and their job careers, and uh, also with the union training. They have the ability to come and learn conflict resolution with the union. They have the ability to come and learn leadership skills with the union that they will bring back to the workplace to provide better services. So again, I wanna thank the executive's office, labor relations, and my labor counterparts. Thank you. All right, let's make this official. Mm There we go. All right. Yes. I think this is really, congratulations. Thank you, and thanks for everything your Thank members you so do for the people of Seattle. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you All right. Thank you. I think this is critical for another reason, is that this shows Seattle, the city of Seattle is one of the largest employers in the region. This shows that when the employer sits down at the table with its workers, it can reach an agreement that's good for both of them. And make no mistake about it, an assault on unions is an assault on the middle class. 
And as we have seen in this country, as the middle class is disappearing, it is more than more important than ever to make sure we build up the middle class as, as, we, as much as we can. You look at the city of Seattle, and we'd have this incredible boom in prosperity with a new economy. But too many people have been left behind, and our middle class is being eroded very quickly in this city. We have to make sure that our workers are taken care of, that they're strong members of this community, and in, in return, what they have done every day is show up day after day to give us the best workforce anywhere in the state. So I'm proud of the workers of the city of Seattle. I'm proud we're able to sit down with the unions and get this agreement. I hope it serves as a model for throughout the country for both governments to show what you can do in light of Janus, but more importantly, for every employer. Work with your workers, support your workers, and you will be a better business. Thank you. Any questions? Dan. Do you know how similar or different this contract is, uh, or this agreement is, with those in other cities responding to Janus? We have not. We've done a, a review, and we don't have all that. Dan, we'll get back to you. Uh, we were not able to find anyone who actually had the formal agreement. People have it in various states, but let us find that out for you, and we'll get back to you. Mayor. Uh, as Seattle has grown, the number of folks like us who are all part of a union has really shifted. And there's a lot of people coming in who are not part of a union or, or are not familiar with unions. For those people coming in as they're learning of this decision today with the, city, with the mayor's office, um, what do you want them to know about the importance of the city making this decision and in, in, in signing what you signed today? I think this is really important because it shows workers that the city is willing to stand by them if they give us the service we need. And we know that both in the city and across this country, when workers are protected, they do better work. And we also know that it is more critical than ever to have a solid middle class. And the history of America is, is that when unions are strong, the middle class is strong. And that makes communities stronger. And we have seen now a surge in, in types of work where workers have almost no protections. The battle, for example, with Uber and other drivers was not just about union politics. It was making sure that those workers could be insured to have family wage jobs, health care benefits, the ability to have some pension rights. You know, I just went through uh, cancer treatment and I had a very good outcome. But one of the reasons I had a very good outcome is because I have great health care and access to great medicine. That's one of the things we protect for our workers in the city. But you'll see that workers that don't have those protections in states where either unions are weak or in those segments of the economy where unions don't exist, workers lack those protections and that's bad for communities. Thank you. Thanks very much.